Before we begin today's adventure, I wanted to do a little bit of training since Mifa is very close to level 30. I am back at my secret base just training up with the level trainer, doing the level 40 Audinos, which you guys know is great XP. With that, ladies and gentlemen, Mifa has grown to level 30. 31 actually, which is pretty good, and we are gonna learn Calm Mind. I'm very excited for this Pokemon to evolve, and I know you guys have been waiting for it as well, so that we can use our Mifa on our team. So with that, we defeated Ace Trainer Trainer, and it looks like what? Mifa is evolving. So about time our Curlia is going to evolve. This is gonna be a very strong Pokemon to use on our team. So I've been looking for it to it for a while. I don't normally have the chance to use this Pokemon. So it's gonna be an absolute blast to use a Pokemon that is different on my team. And with that guys, congratulations, our Mifa evolved into Delta Gardevoir. So now we have a Delta Gardevoir on our team, which is absolutely amazing. As you guys know, Mifa is electric ice. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more training on our Pokemon, and then we'll be ready to jump in. I've also done a little bit of training up for Sandy, so let's go knock out this Audino since we're very close to level 39, which is gonna be very great for us. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we took down the Audino, and we have grown to level 39. So we defeated the Ace Trainer Trainer, we're getting some great XP out here. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, what? Sandy is evolving as well. So it's great that we managed to get this XP. This is really gonna help us out now that our Pokemon are going to be evolved. The stronger our Pokemon are, the better we are going to do in the adventure. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, check it out. Whoa, congratulations. Our Sandy evolved into Delta Muck. So now we have a Delta Muck on our team, and I am done training, ladies and gentlemen. We have Mifa at level 38, Strike at 41, Sandy at 39, Slasher at 39, Daruk at 42, and Aqua at 43. Let's begin this adventure. Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Insurgents. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we made our way here to Coral Town. Today we're gonna explore around Coral Town and see what we can find. It's awesome that we now have more evolved Pokemon to join us in our adventure. Let's take a step inside of this weird building. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hi there. I'm the leader of the Scientist Club. If you wanted to see the behind the scenes, I'm sure we could find a project for you to help out on. What do you say? Do we want to join the Scientist Club? I'm gonna say yeah, science is pretty cool, I gotta tell you guys. I like science. We actually have a mission you can start off with. Basically, uh, well, we have a lab where we're running experiments on very ancient Pokemon. However, just a few hours ago, one of the Pokemon escaped and is now freeing all of them. It's complete havoc. And let me guess, you want us, a Pokemon trainer, to take care of them. We still got plenty locked up, so even just catching them and making them faint would help us out immensely. Are we gonna be able to help them? I'm gonna say yes. Thanks a lot. Don't worry, we'll pay you well for this. They're gonna be paying us for this. That is awesome. We could definitely use more side jobs. Let's look around. A lot of fossil Pokemon, as you guys can see, which is very interesting. What Pokemon am I looking for? I'm gonna take a wild guess. Is this one back here. The Kabutops has a strange metal device attached to its back. Let's go ahead and jump in then. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Kabutops. It is level 32. Now, it's not a Delta Kabutops. Sadly, it would have been awesome if it was. It looks like it's just a regular Kabutops. Now, as you guys heard, you can either faint it or catch it. It endured with one hit. That makes me think that this Pokemon wants to join our team. So, I'm going to throw a Pokeball at it. And let's see what we can do, ladies and gentlemen. And by Pokeball, I mean an actual Pokeball. Since I do have a bunch of Pokeballs, Great Balls, a couple Ultra Balls, I think we'll start things off with the Pokeball. And there we got it! Gotcha! Kabutops was caught. So if you guys want to add a Kabutops to your team, you guys know where you can find one. Very awesome! It's the Shellfish Pokemon. It's a Rock Water type. Kabutops once swam underwater to hunt for prey. Very cool. Would I like to give this guy a nickname? And I'm going to call this guy Hunt because he likes to hunt around. So Kabutops is gonna get sent to the PC. You know, I'm gonna catch Pokemon whenever I can, even if I don't use them as I'm trying to use more Delta species. Oh, thank goodness! That Kabutops was the cause of all our problems. It escaped its enclosure and was trying to free the rest of them. Let me just remove this machine from it. 
Hey, I think we can chalk that experiment up to a failure. Never mind, we can deal with the cleanup from here. Thanks for all your help, Rodri. Take this as our reward. We got 3,000 Poke Dollars for helping them out. And it looks like they're gonna hit us up on the Poke Gear if they need anything else from us. So, another little side mission for us to do. We actually haven't gotten a call from Suntouch Tower in a while, so maybe they'll be hitting us up sometime soon. The stock market is closed, permanently. They're in the process of taking it down. Yikes. Sounds like things have gotten a little bit tough around here. Let's see where this is gonna lead us. Some people in green suits came running by here earlier. I wonder what they were up to. In green suits? Well, that means we're gonna have to follow along. Travelers be warned, the sandstorm is always harsh in the Rezai Desert. Come prepared. I hope we are prepared, ladies and gentlemen. We've made it to the Rezai Desert. The music is a little bit spicy in here. I like it, I like it. Let's jump into our first battle of the day and see what kind of Pokemon we're gonna be able to find here in the desert. It's a little bit dry around here. I gotta tell you guys, I should have brought some water along with us. I could use a little bit of water. Now I'm gonna go for the Shockwave here on the Lunatone and let's see what we can do. That did a ton of damage. Super effective. You guys know how it's gonna go. And we also have the Sandstorm currently attacking us, which is gonna make things a little bit more difficult. Now, it's a good thing that we have Sandy, because Sandy can do a lot of damage with the Sandstorm raging. So we might have to keep Sandy up in front here if these are the Pokemon we are going to be going up against. Let me go for the Mud Bomb here. The Psychic should not do too much. Oh my goodness, we can't even use our moves on this Lunatone at the moment. We're gonna have to do what we can do. Can't use any of my ground type moves because of the levitate. Maybe the sandstorm will be able to take this Pokemon down because as of now, I feel like we're not even gonna take that much damage. And it is close to going down. I'm gonna hand in here. I'm just gonna chill out and we're gonna let the sandstorm do its thing. With that, ladies and gentlemen, the Lunatone is down. All we had to do was sit back and watch the show. That's the cool thing. Sometimes you gotta pull out some crazy strategies of the sort that you never thought were gonna be possible. I'm gonna send Aqua out here. We're gonna need some water, Aqua. You're gonna need to fill up our water bottle to take down any of the trainers that are out here. Hope you guys are having a good Monday. It's the start of a brand new week, and I hope that you guys are making the most of it. As I've told you guys, self-improvement is a big thing that we're gonna be dealing with in this Let's Play, as we do in most adventures, and I am trying my best to improve as much as possible. I'm also working on eating healthier now, so that's one of the big things that I need to step up. I definitely really need to step up. Oh no, Mifa's gonna get hit with the sandstorm, so I'm gonna go ahead and run out of here. I did some groceries today. I purchased some couple things. I'm probably still gonna need to do a couple more groceries later on, but I'm doing it slowly but surely. I am a firm believer that you can't really cold turkey things if you want them to last. I think there are times where you can definitely cold turkey some stuff and be able to move on from it and, you know, get better from it. But for me, I know that I sometimes like to do things for fun and it's hard for me to get out of a routine so it's easier to just do things little by little now if you take a step every day you know eventually you're gonna make it through the path and I'm a firm believer in that and that's something that I've been working on myself although changes to me won't happen overnight I know that if I just put in a little bit of effort every day or even more than a little bit of effort with time 10 days will have passed 20 days will have passed and before you know it you're gonna be a-ok -okay. so I hope you guys are doing well I'm wishing you the best and I hope that you're improving yourselves as you go as well I think as people we should always try to improve ourselves and help others as much as possible I think that's a very good goal to strive for and that is something that I've always had in the back of my mind you know as I improve myself I hope that I can improve the lives of others as well because there's a lot of people out there going through a lot more than I am so the least I can do is try to get as ahead as I can so I can help them as well. I think that's a good way to think about things. You know, as you progress, you're also gonna be bringing other people up with you. And that's a good way to be. It's a really good way to live. Let's go for one more attack then. And we should be able to take down the Shuckle. That just has about done it. Sandy's trying to learn Earthquake. That is awesome. What should I get rid of for Earthquake? I am going to get rid of Magnitude just because it is inconsistent and I'd rather have Earthquake which is going to be more of a consistent hitter and there we go. We took down another trainer here in the Sandy Pits. Let's keep moving around. Oh boy. There's a cave here. 
There's a cave! You guys already know what it means if there's a cave! There's probably going to be some tough trainers. Let me battle this trainer, though, before we jump in there. I'm going to battle all the ones that I can before we jump into that cave. Because whenever we get into caves, that's, that's when things start getting a little bit crazy. Now that we have Earthquake on our Sandy, this is going to make things so much easier. I've never really used Gardevoir or Muck on my teams. So, to be able to use these Pokemon here on this adventure is also very cool. Hope you guys are having a good time and are having fun with the adventure. I'm really enjoying my time playing through it with you guys. Thank you so much for all the comments and hints that you guys leave me. It's fantastic to get to read through there and to just pretty much read comments from a bunch of friends who are just as excited as you are to play through a game. So, I just really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy the series. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. I'm going to be uploading every day, as you guys know. And I've been doing a pretty good job of it so far, so I'm pretty proud of that. I know that sometimes I say it, but I've been doing it, and that's what matters. Actions speak louder than words. And that is something that I definitely am working on as well. I want to be able to be held accountable for the things that I say. Because I know that that's how you gain trust in people. And for a while, I've had my ups and my downs, and things have been tough at points, but I always get back up. You know, they say, it isn't until you're at your lowest point that you're open to the biggest change. And that's a quote from Avatar, The Last Airbender. It's actually from The Legend of Korra. It's a quote that Aang tells to Korra, which I really relate with, because I know, in life, you're always gonna have ups and downs. It's just about how you handle them. Are you gonna stand back up, or are you just gonna lay there? You know, are you just gonna sit there and give up? Personally, I like to stand back up. I believe I'm not that type of person to quit on things. So I always like to keep trying. And I hope that you guys are, you know, doing the same here. I'm gonna use the repel. I do have 13 repels in this place. So it's not like we're doing too shabby around here. There are a bunch of trainers for us to battle here in the desert though. Hopefully this is leading us to where we need to go because you guys heard there are some people running through here in green outfits so i wonder who they could be could they be a different cult or is it a cult we have bumped into before that is for us to find out in today's adventure let's go for that incinerate the sima sage is gonna go down we're gonna gain some good xp a grumpig is coming out i'm gonna send out sandy against the grumpig let's see how much damage we can do to the grumpig it is level 40. i'm gonna go for the earthquake no, we became confused, but Sandy did it. Thank you, Sandy. Oh, and we hit again? What in the heck? It's awesome to have a Delta Muck here with us. It's definitely different. This adventure has been very, very different from other Pokemons that I've played. I've played a lot of Pokemon games. I really have, whether they are hacks or fan-made games or random changes in games here and there, randomizers, Nuzlocks. So to tell you the truth, it's a lot of fun to get to try out a game of this sort. I think they've done a fantastic job of it. You can really tell that the creators of this game put in a lot of effort into it. And they should really be proud of the type of game that they've made. It's tough to make Pokemon games and to create a good story. So I can only imagine by people that who went for a non-profit fan-made game how much effort they genuinely put in just by themselves because of the love they have for the game. All right, there's two more trainers around here, and we must be getting close to the end of this cave, which, if I'm guessing correctly, is where the trainers are going to be. All right, we're going up against a throw. We're looking a little bit tough right now. I did manage to hit a crit, but Strike is going to go down. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna switch out. We're gonna bring out Slasher. You guys know I'm just gonna go for the Slash's moves. The Slasher is always coming through for us. Icicle Crash. We could definitely get rid of a move for that. I am gonna get rid of Ice Ball. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a much stronger Ice move. Let's keep it up, though. Let's keep this up. I'm gonna go for the Slash on this guy. Our Slash does a ton of damage. Although, you know, fighting type moves are gonna do a lot to us as well. The good thing is the Pokemon Center isn't that far away. So I'm gonna try my best to do what I can do. I'm gonna go for the low. I'm gonna go for the icicle crash. We missed it! That's okay. The brick brick break it, he got us. Good thing this isn't a Nuzlocke. That's why sometimes I like risking it. When it isn't a Nuzlocke, I just take risks with my Pokemon. I just like to have fun with it and see what they can do and how much damage they can output. 
So if you guys were wondering, it is for that reason. I do some crazy things. I do some crazy wild things. It lasted with one HP. There we go. The Gallade is down. Let's see who else is going to be coming out next because the Rook is very, very strong. It's going to be another Sock, and I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. That is the Sock that we lowered to half. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We defeated the Black Belt. So let's keep moving through here. Repel's effect wore off. Yes, we would like to use another Repel. Another trainer on the way. Let's put Daruk up in front. Daruk's been handling battles quite well, so I'm sure we'll be able to handle at least one more battle before we have to heal up our Pokemon. So let's go ahead and see what the scientist has. It is a Magneton. I am going to confuse Ray, this Pokemon. And here comes the Flash Cannon. Oh boy. That did a lot of damage. We're about to see how much damage I do to this Pokemon. Probably not as much as I would have liked. So we're just going to do our thing, ladies and gentlemen. No! Here comes the Flash Cannon! It has took us down! Magneton! What are you doing, Magneton? Don't do that to us, man! Alright, alright, alright. Let's go for the Ice Shard. That's gonna take down the Magneton. Let's see what else is gonna be coming out here. I might have to use a potion. And we didn't! I'm gonna heal up really quickly before we continue here. I ran into some of the Pokemon here. There's an Axu, a Marowak, some strong Pokemon. Check it out. Something's going on. Who, who are you people? Where did you come from? No, no, there's no need to panic. We're all friends here, nothing to be afraid of. Aren't you guys cultists? What do you want? Well, I hear that you two found something very interesting while mining. How lovely! I was just thinking about how we were such great friends. You wouldn't have a problem with letting me borrow it. And by borrow it, I mean, give it to me! If you're talking about the scroll we unearthed, we can't just hand it to you. My children found that. It belongs to them. You can't just take what's not yours. I understand. Don't worry. Um, tell me, which do you value more? That scroll or your children's lives? There's several explosives around the ladder behind you. If you don't give us the scroll, it's going to be pretty hard for your family to exit that cavern. What, what do you need it for? Well, we're cultists. Sky cultists. That scroll contains the details of the ritual that summons Rayquaza. You have three guesses, and the first two don't count. You want to summon Rayquaza? Yes. Well done, you detective, you. Now, have you made your decision? Please, take this. Stay away from my family. Very well. We'll leave. Have a nice day. Ma'am, what are we going to do next? Now that we have the scroll, we're heading to Helio City. We'll use the August energy to summon Rayquaza for us. Jern's gonna help us. Why would he do that? Let's just say, oh, trust me, I can be quite convincing. He was a very few very good reasons why he should. Oh, I nearly forgot. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Boom. No way. There was a family down there. Oh, they, oh man, these cultists are messed up. Sorry, I've never been a fan of jokes that ended in puns. Did you just... you... Dead men tell no tales, Grunt. Our plans are secret and must always remain so. Let's go! Helio City awaits! You've gotta be kidding me! Can we rescue these people somehow? That is horrible! They just buried people inside of there! You've gotta be joking, right? How terrible are the Sky Cultists? Hey, watch it! Oh, Rodri, sorry, I didn't see you. What a coincidence, I was actually just looking for you. I've been training up all my Pokemon and I've restyled my looks. They're based around my new partner, Shaman. I think I'm ready to take you on. I hope you're ready, because I'm not losing again. Here we go, guys, Rodri versus our rival Damien. And check it out, our rival Damien is switching up his outfit. He has five Pokemon ready to go. I got a, poke, a couple Pokemon ready to go as well, ladies and gentlemen. And let's go ahead and switch this out. I'm going to bring out Aqua right now against the Crawdont. You guys know that the Crawdont usually does a lot of damage to the Rook. And ends up taking us out whenever we go up against Damien. So I'm going to mix things up a little bit today. And we're going to pull out a strategy. We're going to do some uh, goodness over here. I'm about to pull out some magic for us. 
And some of that magic is going to be going for the play. Rough the taunt did come out from the Crawdon. It's a good thing. We packed a punch. You guys know I do not mess around. And there you go. Bye-bye, Crawdont. That was much easier than I thought. So let's see what other Pokemon is going to be coming out next. I have to tell you guys, it is pretty messed up what just happened with the Sky Cultist. I can't believe they did that. I had a feeling that it could happen. But for a second, I really thought the Cultists were just going to go. That makes me want to stop these Cultists even more. We're definitely on a journey to stop these Cultists. And I hope you guys are pumped now as much as me to take them down. Because these guys have been doing some horrible things here in this region. You know, you wouldn't want that to happen to your family for real. It's something that would really, really hurt. So we're going to do everything we can to make sure they don't hurt anyone else around here. I suppose that's the job of being a trainer, right? If you're a Pokemon trainer, you try to help out as many people as Pokemon. If I, or as many people as you do Pokemon. So you help both of them out. If I was a part of the Pokemon world, I would love to be like a Pokemon Ranger or something of that sort. I think it would be really, really cool to just protect Pokemon. I'd really enjoy that. To be a Pokemon Ranger, to be out there in the woods and just have like Pokemon as friends. I think that would be a lot of fun. Blastoise is out here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can do to it. Now, you guys know that Blastoise is a dark type. So this is going to be a little bit tricky. Let's get Aqua back out here. And let's see what Blastoise is going to throw out. I'm trying to trick this Blastoise up a little bit. The Aura Sphere has come out. And it did not do very much damage. That is awesome. That is awesome. Now, this Pokemon... It's going to be a little bit tough for us, ladies and gentlemen. It definitely is going to be a little bit tough. So let's back some punches. I'm going to go for that play rough. And the play rough! Super effective. You guys already know it. Dude, Damien, you got to mix it up, man. You've been using too many Dark-type Pokemon here. Way too many. Next up is going to be a Matang. So yes, check it out. Our team is very well-versed to go up against Damien team. Right now... We've been doing really good taking on all of his Pokemon. Even if they are just a little bit higher level. I'm going to go for the Incinerate here. The Matang should take a lot of damage. And it is about to go down. <laughs> this is what I like to see, guys. This is what I like to see. When my Pokemon can be switched in and out and there's some fluidity to the battling, it makes it so much more fun and so much easier. Shaman is going to be the last Pokemon coming out. I'm going to send out Slasher against the Shaman. Come on out, Slasher. Let's see what the Slasher can do against a legendary Pokemon. And there it is, the Shaman. I'm going to go for the Icicle Crash. It looks like Shaman is going to go for the Magical Leaf. It shouldn't do that much to us. And we'll see how much the Icicle Crash does to the Shaman. Oh my goodness. That did a ton of damage. That is what I like to see. We're going to go for one more Icicle Crash. And Shaman level 43 has been took down, ladies and gentlemen. So there we have it. We're going to gain a bunch of XP. Slash are going to grow a level from that? We're level 42. Awesome. We defeated our rival, Damien. Why am I still losing to you? We got 2,816 for winning. Might be we're using Delta Species. Uh, why do I keep losing to you? Just when I thought I was finally improving too. Anyways, I stumbled in here because I heard a loud noise from this cave. Did you see what happened? You don't want to know, man. You really don't want to know. A cult dressed in all green and they called themselves Sky Cultists? Oh no! Rodri, the Sky Cult is no joke! If they want to blackmail the Augur somehow, then they'll definitely figure out a way to do it! That's horrible! He needs to be warned! We need to get to Helio City, where he lands as quickly as possible! Follow me, Rodri! Let's follow Damien! We've made it to the Rezai Desert, a little bit deeper in it looks like. And it looks like there's going to be a couple paths for us to take. So let's see where exactly this is going to lead us. We got ourselves an Ultra Ball, ladies and gentlemen. And I am going to keep running upwards to see where the heck this is going to go. A couple more items here. Some Super Repels. We've gotten some goodies. We've gotten some goodies here. Another cave. This cave has led us to Rogan Town, ladies and gentlemen. So we are officially in Rogan Town. And it looks like we're going to have to explore around here and find Damien, who is already running very far ahead. Damien is already on his way, and we are going to have to meet up with him. We're going to have to catch up with our old friend and make sure that we don't get left too far behind. We found TM-106 Incinerate. 
which is a really good move to find here. Now let's take a look around this place and see what else we can find. There is the Pokemon Center. So this is gonna be it, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we will continue from here in Rogantown. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the series, click that subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today so you can stay up to date with all the daily uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye!